Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the main demo in VP Rentals team. On this domain I have just installed the team and the team included plugins and now I will need to activate the team. Here I will need to add the license code from Team Forest. I added my license code and now I will press check license button and the team is active. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for those icons to be imported along with the demo content you will need to install the SVG support plugin. I will go to plugins. I have the plugin already installed. I will activate it and I will set it to apply only from admin. The next step is to import the main demo content. I will go to VP Rentals options, import demo. This is the main demo. I will click import demo, continue and import. And I will wait for the content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo was successfully imported. Now I will press visit site. The demo content was imported, but for the home page to show exactly as the main demo official site, you will need to make some manual adjustments and for this section and this one, you will need to manually upload images for the categories used in this shortcode. The main demo home page that is assigned by default is created with Bakery. I will show later in this video how to activate the home page created with Elementor. First, I will make this section show well for the Bakery home page. The first step is to edit the home page. You will need to review the categories that were imported from demo for the category slider and for the featured categories. This happens because on import the categories will have different IDs. So first I will edit this shortcode. You can see that there are some valid categories imported but there will be ones that do not apply for the new site. So now I will type a different city and I will select it from the list. I will save changes and here I will do the same. I will make sure that the category used is valid. And the next step is to manually assign an image for each category used in both shortcodes. The categories can be found under listings. They are categories what do you rent, city, neighborhood, features and amenities, and property status. For the category slider, we used city and neighborhood, so I will go first to city. I will edit the category New York. I will press upload image. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and update. These steps will need to be done for each category used in the shortcode. I will show another example. So I will press edit, upload image. I will select an image from my device. And press update. Since the steps are the same for all categories, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after I will show the results. I added all images, now the shortcodes show correctly. And next I will go to Team Options. Here you will be able to replace the demo settings with your own you will be able to change the map system. You can keep Google Maps and in this case you will need to create and add a Google Maps API key or you can switch to OpenStreet. In general booking settings you will be able to set the booking type, the advanced guest control and other settings specific to bookings. In payments and submit you will be able to set the submission page settings, you will be able to change the payment method and also set booking payment options. In search settings you will be able to manage the advanced search settings. 
Next I will set permalinks correctly. I will go to settings, permalinks. I will set them to post name and save my change. Now the demo import is complete. Next I will show how to activate the Elementor homepage. So the first step is to change the homepage to an Elementor one. For that I will go to admin, settings, reading. In this drop down you will have all available pages and here you will have the home pages that were created with Elementor. I will select the first one and save my change. Now when I go to front end, I will have a home page that was created with Elementor. You can create a new page and build it from scratch with Elementor and assign it as home page, but in this video I will show how to edit the existing demo home page. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will be able to edit this page only with Elementor. This is the Elementor editor interface and you will be able to edit content starting with the section below the header. The header section is controlled from the team. I will show, I will go back to home page and I will click edit page. And here in the back end of the home page, you will be able to control title, header appearance by setting transparent header and the hero header type. We have a video tutorial where we showcase all available options for the hero header. Once you set the hero header settings, you can start editing the home page content using Elementor. I have Navigator already enabled, so I can have better control over each section. I will start with the first section. Here we use VP Rental recent items widget. With this widget you will be able to display your latest listings. You can change settings. For example, I have changed to not have any spaces between listings. You can change the number of listings that will be shown. I will change it to 9. And I will leave to show 3 listings per row. You also have the option to set the widget to display the listings in random order. And in filter section, you will have the option to set the category, action, the city or the area from which the properties will show in the list. If you go back to section, in style and advanced sections, you will be able to customize the section appearance. You will be able to set margin, paddings or background colors and other settings. Going to the next section, you will find a column with two heading widgets. Here you will be able to change the text and you will find the VP Rentals category slider. For this widget, you will need to manually add the categories that will show in front end and for those categories, you will need to manually upload images. I will select random categories And now I will go to admin and manually upload the images for each of these categories. The steps to add the images for categories are the same as shown for the bakery homepage. So I will add these images of the record and after show the results. And now the images can be seen. You can also change the items number per row. Going forward to the next section. You will be able to change the text by editing the heading widgets. Also, you will have two columns where you will find the VP Rentals featured listing widget. This widget can be used to showcase a single listing. Here you will need to add the listing ID of the listing that you wish to showcase in front end. I will go to admin listings. This is the ID that you need to add in the widget. I will change it to this one. I will copy it and change it in the shortcode. You will see that the listing will change. The shortcode has more than one design. You can select them from here or type 3. I will set both widgets to type 2. 
in the next section you will have the same widget but with different settings this widget was added in a section that was set to be full width and to be stretch also the widget was set to be type 3 i will show how to remove a section if you do not want to use it you just press delete section button and the section is gone for the next section, you will have the VP Rentals feature categories, the same as the VP Rentals category slider. For this shortcode, you will also need to select the categories that you want to show and manually upload images for each category. Since we already have a featured categories above, I will delete this widget as well, but I will keep the heading widgets. Instead of the featured categories, I will add the advanced search widget. This is the one. I will add it with drag and drop to replace the old widget. This is the one. I will change the heading and I will remove the second heading widget. And now I have a new section with a search widget. Going to the next section, this section was created only with Elementor widgets. The image was added as background for the inner section. You can find it in style and here the image can be changed. Also over the image we have added a heading widget for the text and the button. For the next section, we use the VP Rentals featured owner shortcut. This shortcut is used to display owners. Here you will need to add the owner ID. In admin, the IDs can be found in owners. These are the IDs that you need to use. Going back to the home page, I will go to the next section, which is the testimonials one. Here we use the VP Rentals testimonial shortcode. The shortcode has two types, type 1 and type 2. Here you will need to add client name, title of the client, the client image and the testimonial text. For the next section, we used only Elementor widgets. These boxes will contain an icon, which sometimes need to be manually added after demo import. I will upload an SVG icon from my device. Each column will have an icon and an image box where you will be able to add text. And for the last section on the page, we have used the featured article widget. You can use this widget to display blog post pages on your homepage. Here you will need to add the ID of the blog post. You can change it to type 2 or type 3. Type 3 is more suitable for a full width row. I will change each widget to type 2. I will update my changes and check the page on front end. This is the new home page. Using Elementor plugin you can make any changes in home page and create the home page that will fit your business. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.